Puffy, man, um, why do you think he didn't take it serious when you said that um somebody was coming that night to get y'all? Ego. He's showing off. You gotta realize, in the same entourage is his girl Kim, Sally Richardson, a few other joints. So now, maybe he wanted to show off. I don't know. But to take something serious like that, when I don't come to Puff like that, you understand what I'm saying? Every time I told Puff something was about to happen, it happened. You understand? We had a party with ODB now. And at Luke's club, your Puff, they about to start shooting up in this joint. How you know, Gene? Bruh, I know. In your opinion, man, do you think Biggie would still be alive if Puffy would have listened to you? I think, in, in my opinion, Big wouldn't have got killed that night. To say if he was still being alive, I don't know that. I don't have a time clock on somebody's life. And we know, nobody knows. God, you know, it comes to death comes like a thief in the night, man. We don't know what's going on and when it's going to happen. But I truly believe that if Big would have stayed to his guns and not F with Puff like he was doing at first, not coming to none of the parties we was at, did you hear what Lil C said? We wasn't even messing with Puff. We was doing our own thing. If they would have stayed with doing their own thing, maybe we still alive. Because Big was a big star. Show me one picture out of L.A. since they was going to all kind of clubs and all kind of spots and all kind of restaurants that somebody got them with them. That somebody got those pictures with them. Have you seen any? Only place you've seen them was at Sway, the radio stations, right? The 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 video shoot. Where all the other places with all the other pictures? That one time in the mall. But they was out there two months, going to all the stations and everything. See. I think that what we're looking at is this, is that two men with two great egos that got all the money in the world. Now see, Suge had the blueprint of Louvers and the Artists. Do you know how much money Death Row Law made when Pac died? I think that pop, that that record, the album went like ten times platinum, right? Yeah, that all eyes on me sold over ten million and went diamond. And um, Machiavelli, I think that went like four times platinum. And his greatest hits, I think that sold over ten million and went diamond. I mean, every Tupac album that came out after he died went platinum. So now you got your main artist leaving you, that you think that's robbed you, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to realize that. Big was changing the name on his publishing. He wasn't putting Christopher Wallace or whatever he was on the problem. He was using somebody else's name, probably his daughter or something like that. The same shit that Puff did with um, uh, the locks. You know what I mean? He was changing the name. So now Puff, when he that little 200000 he gave him extra for that publishing, he's not even getting that money now because Big then changed the name on it. What did, what you call say that Lil C say when and you got to listen to what people say. He said, we didn't even know Puff was in uh, Quad Studio. So why was Puff in Quad Studio? Right? He knew Junior Mafia was having a session over there. And if Big is writing for them, I'm entitled to that publishing money. So Puffy knew Tupac was going to get robbed at Quad Studios? Well, I don't think he, I, I, I'm not going to say he knew exactly he was going to get robbed, but he knew he was going to get dealt with. Because he was up there with uh, Andre Harrell, 
and he was with Jimmy Henchman. And even though I think Pac may have owed Jimmy some money or he was being disrespectful with Jimmy, and Jimmy ain't the type of dude that you was going to be disrespectful for because he had some real wolves. And Jimmy was about it about it himself. You know what I mean? So now, in that essence, uh, Puff is up there in the office with him. They know they about to deal with Pac. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know the extent that Jimmy told him what they was going to do to Pac or he's going to get dealt with or whatever like that. But I know Puff had a whiff of what was going on. You understand? And But his main reason to be there was to probably spy on Big them in a session with Junior Mafia. Because you got to realize if you know whenever Big had a hit, who else had a hit? Junior Mafia. Right. How did they get that hit? Big wrote it. So if Big is writing hits for somebody else, who is entitled to that publishing? Puff is because he owned it. That's what was the fight in the studio that night was. The same night they was talking about Snoop, Charlie Baltimore was there because they was going to do a, um, a skit for Puff's album. That same night. When they had the argument about who wrote Lil' Kim shit. When I was telling D-Rock, somebody gonna come kill us, man. They coming to get us. I got a call from Unique, from Mecca Audio. I'm getting, I, I spoke to Jody, seen the man, them about this shit. Bro, it's gonna go down. If they would have stayed with their plan, like Little C said, we was doing our own thing. He comes out with Puff how many nights? He comes out with Puff how many nights? He came out Puff one night. And what happened? He don't go back home to his kids. And it's, it's, it's not that I'm hating on him like people. You know how you, you young cat, yo, he hating, he doing like, man, listen, I'm just telling the truth. And if you got a problem with me telling the truth, then you got a problem. It's two sides and then it's the middle. You figure out. You figure out whose story sounds the, whose story sounds the best. Whose story sounds right. You know, do you see Notorious Big missing his plane, the same plane Lil' C said he was never going on, missing his plane, and begging Puff to go to a party with him? Puff said he begged him to go to the party with him. The party that he got murdered in. The only party that he went to with Puff. You got to look at what's real and what actually happened and what were people saying.